Good morning and welcome back to the channel. It's Richard from Power Lines to Power Naps. Really need some better power naps. Um, little update today on things that are happening down here in Newey's Kitchen. Bits of news. Some very important news about me leaving Thailand. Uh, I worked my last shift on the Royal Thai Tourist Police and Bangla Road for a while. On Saturday night, man, it was horrendously mentally busy. So uh, Bangla saw me off in style with a busy, busy long shift. But anyway, let's see what we're going to talk about. You watch the intro, I'll have a coffee. We'll take you from there. Hi, I'm Richard. Welcome to my channel, from power lines to power naps. This is my wife, Nui, and together we both left the UK in February 2022 to start and enjoy a new life and new adventures in Phuket, Thailand. Join us on our new journey together and experiences. Sit back and enjoy. So, chilly update. Chili's growing. Chili, look at daddy. Lucky's getting used to uh, living with Chili. And all these little kitten antiques. They're getting on fine. Chili started to cost us money already. He got slightly attacked. If I can see somewhere there. He got slightly attacked last week by a stray cat. Put him a puncture wound in. Like look at. Learned his lesson. But it was a trip to the vets for cleaning the infection out. A couple of stitches. Injection for antibiotics. Now they follow Nui everywhere for the food breakfast time. Thailand, throw away cat dish, cardboard box, put it in the bin tomorrow, get a new one. But uh, yeah, he's going back to the vets today for his first vaccine. Shall he eat? Lucky. Lucky. All wearing their cat attire. But hey, chilly update. He's doing fine. Look more species here too. Well, the vet's bills have started already. Beautiful morning here. We've had some days rain, as you've seen. Monsoons have kicked in. Reservoirs are filling up slowly, but today's beautiful. Monday morning. And here at Newey's Kitchen we have another, which you probably saw on my short story, a new development going in. The back's all been concreted, new concrete slab. A bit bright this way, but there we have the new base for a new project. Hmm, interesting, eh? And that new project is, well I'm not allowed to tell you yet, Nui's, Nui's got an idea. And I suspect when I get back from my trip, which again uh, we spoke about, all will be revealed. It may not look too different, but we've had the builders that did the concrete base, have also have been to rip off all these bamboo panels it's like a bamboo thatch it was all put on two years ago when we opened up but with the climate and the weather in Thailand bamboo doesn't really last that long gets a lot of weather so we've had it all renewed again took them a couple of days but uh, yeah, looking better. The plants are looking well. Looking more matured. Very pleased. And there you can see there now at the back where we got the cones and the marker pegs out. The new concrete slab for Nui's phase two idea. Had some new signage go up. Never stop. Never stop improving. Keep going with new ideas. That's the way forward. I've just had to turn the music down so the copyrights don't get me, but 
Nui's uh, now got Nui's DJ booth going on around here, so plenty of music for the customers. Uh, microphones with it as well, you can do karaoke. Morning, Jenny. Good morning, Jenny. Good morning, Baba. How are you, Jenny? Very good, thank you. You're very good, apart from your toe. Jenny's got a bad toe at the moment, but and she's got a bit of an ingrowing toenail. Say hello to YouTube. Say hello to YouTube. Hello to YouTube. Cap on cap. So like I said, we've had more new signs, more new menu boards, more new menu boards. And I believe there's more on the way. He's always got something going on. She's always got a plan. Let me turn it around quick up. There she is. Where you been? Pick some banana from jungle. Pick some banana. Pick some bananas from the jungle. Pinch. Wow. Can I have 90 baht, please? 90 baht, okay. She's just been across there to the jungle or the fruit stall to some bananas. 90 baht for a bag of bananas. About two quid. How many bananas she got there? Let's have a look. We'll have a look when she comes back. But like I say, beautiful morning. The sun's back out this morning. Traffic is pretty light for a Monday morning. Low season, but you know, we're still busy. Uh, yesterday was obviously Sunday roast day down here at Newey's Kitchen. And it wasn't all roast dinners, but uh, a lot of people came to see us yesterday. We're like, let's, let's get her back and see how many bananas she's got for 90 baht. Louis, come here. How many bananas have you got for 90 baht? My uh, subscribers want to know. Can you count that high? No, 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 Twelve. bananas for 90 baht. About two pound. Expensive. Robbing bastards. <laughs> Normally about 60 from local, 60, 70 bucks. So you can get cheaper, <coughs> yeah. cheaper fruit stalls yeah. or cheaper well, wholesale. No, no, not pass on the middleman. Well, that's cheaper. right. Yeah, yeah. If you go direct to the supplier, yeah. to the wholesaler. So we're setting up in here today, Monday morning. I reckon all the tourists are still recovering from their Sunday night out. So. Uh, bit quiet now at the moment which is great for coffee and chill time but I know one thing thankfully they're quiet good morning how are you to buy the cap to buy my cap beautiful day now our neighbor I know it won't stay quiet few people get up early for breakfast but you know what they're on holiday so People don't need to dive out of bed every morning. Now Ginny tells me every morning. Let's go back to Ginny. No customer, Ginny. No customer. No customer. She comes to me nearly every morning at this time saying, Papa, Papa, no customer. <laughs> and I say, chill. Chill. And about 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, she's ripping her hair out because uh, all the tables are full. Change some of the hours slightly now for uh, low season just to help out because we, well, low season can and is difficult for businesses out here. Not going to lie about that. It can be even a struggle to at least stay as busy and make enough to pay all your costs, Last year all the we, salaries. Last year we were worse. Like Nui just said, uh, this is our third low season. And thankfully, it's busier than the previous two low seasons. But low season, it's very difficult to uh, make a living and keep your head above water. Many restaurants close, some for three or four months. Um, many just tick over with very, very few customers or totally empty days. So we've adjusted our staff hours a little bit. They're all getting paid well still. They're all getting paid the salaries and all the tips 100% every day they get that off of any customers we've just adjusted the hours on a couple of staff to stagger the shifts, stagger the time 
which will help us save on overtime a little bit which is just being sensible they're still happy they're happy they've got a very very good job they're not being laid off low season like many places do so we just have to be a bit sensible like you do anywhere in the world so we have Lynn young Lynn and uh, Mimi they come in at uh, 11 o'clock now or 10.45 as I like prefer to call it that's another thing educating staff here I think most people in the western world if they start at X they'll be in 10-15 minutes early uh, mostly in Thailand here if they start at X they'll bloody start at X they'll turn up at X but they're educated and they do come 15 minutes early now let's go take a look in the kitchen um, Ginny however her, her time is 8 o'clock and she's normally here about 20 to 8 they're just discussing uh, fresh water these water containers are um, what our sealed fresh safe water comes in and they're renewed every day by a van that goes round how much Ginny how much in each one what money 12 baht so 12 baht watch okay carry on 12 baht goes in the container Easy for you to say. So you pop 12 baht in each one of them bottles. Put the bottles outside. The vans come round, collect and, and leave you full ones. That's all your fresh water. So for the coffee machine, any water that's drinkable or mixed with juices or smoothies, anything that's consumable, that's where the water comes from. Water on the mains or emergency tanks is purely used here for dishwashing and toilets. That's your water. Good, no? Okay, chill, he's had his breakfast. And he's back in the schoolroom playing with his toys. I beg your pardon? Can you say anything else, Chili? Would you like to say anything to YouTube, Chili? Or you just want to carry on and kill your toy? You can see he's not uh, perturbed from his incident. And there's the little injury. Oh, bless him. There's the injury he received from a, a bigger cat. I do know he'll sort the bigger cats out when he's older. He's a feisty little boy. But he's happy. He's, he's got a couple of uh, stitches. He's eating, he's playing. And what's more, he's. Oh, there we go. Let's turn it around. So the water containers go off and we leave them over there with the fruit stall with his water containers. Sometimes the water guys are so busy they don't stop at every place you see the water containers left and you can be left out or missed out. So we take ours over there now and add them to the fruit stall and, and then they just stop once, renew all the water containers, ours and theirs and our staff fetch, uh, fetch them back, back to Chile. So there you can see, hello oh boy, yeah, a bit of an attack, wasn't it? A bit of an attack, but <coughs> he'll get him back when he's bigger. It wasn't lucky, it wasn't our other cat, it was, there was many, uh, all sorts of cats around here. Maybe uh, Chile showed him a bit of kitten attitude who knows maybe he deserved it for his cheek but he goes back to the vets this morning for his first um, first jab his first vaccine then he'll get his own little vaccine card telling us when his next one is due everything done out here very very good I think the vets bill from the other day from the uh, incision on his wound and cleaning it out two stitches and um, worming treatment and an antibiotic injection that bill was 500 baht at 12 quid so still pretty good and the treatment here is good but anyway he's going back today for a, a 300 baht a seven quid first kitty back vaccine then again his own card with chili with his name on it 
Let's have a quick look in the kitchen. Go back in the kitchen. Make sure you've been in here since you've had all the floor tile. Here's Yao. Morning, Yao. Morning, Papa. How are you? Good. Good man. This is the best, really good guy. Yao comes in early in the morning, opens everything up. And he stays still late and locks everything up. And he's doing food prep, veg prep. He's like a machine. Make sure that everything is ready and all the ingredients are ready and the fresh produce ready to start the cooking of the meals. And then, of course, we've got the beautiful Soleil Mac Mali. Good morning, Mali. How are you? Good, good girl. Mali is uh, Louis's right hand girl and chef. Mali looks after me and feeds me breakfast and makes me food. If she thinks I'm missing out or looking a little bit emaciated. Emaciated. Oh. She's like Mother Hen. She looks after all of us. She looks after Nui. She's a great cook, great chef. And uh, Nui's tweaked her a little bit. Tweaked her to do it Nui's way, which, which is the way. <coughs> Uh, presentation and cooking, everything is consistent. Hang on, knew he's going fishing. Wait, wait. Morning, Lucky. How are you, mate? Knew he's going fishing. <laughs> he caught anything yet, knew he? Ah, you've caught me! I've got one, I've got one! <laughs> I've got one! Well, good catch! I've got one! I've got one now! Hey? He plays like a kitten, he's a... I've got one! I've got one! He's a great little chap, isn't he? Tell me what you think of uh, Chili. You love him, don't you? Some more, you know, when we go everywhere, follow everywhere. He follows you, follows us everywhere. You go to the toilet. Go to the toilet, he comes to the toilet with you. you shut the door, he is. <laughs> uh, where's Lucky? I don't want to miss Lucky out. Buddy cap to buy the good, good, good. Happy every day, happy. <laughs> this is Mr. Namkeng. Okay, ice, ice, ice. Import, uh, Norway, import, import, import from Norway, ice, okay. ice, wow. ice, ice, baby. Dun 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 <coughs> Lovely guy, brings us fresh ice every day Let's take a look at his truck So again, just like the water and the water boys We have the ice boys Ice ice baby, here's his boys, what a okay. team what? Welcome to Thailand, welcome to Phuket well, Happy holiday Thank you very much, welcome to Thailand and welcome to Phuket And welcome to the best ice family on Phuket and all this ice comes in bags, big bags, bags of fresh ice, all day, every day. Big, big rain. <laughs> yeah, all day you're always wet. When it rains they're wet, when, when it's sunshine they're wet with bags of ice. Great guys, thank you guys. Have a good day now. Have a good day. No response. Yeah, fishing with Lucky. Lucky, Lucky's a beautiful cat, but look. Okay. Lucky has never ever played like a kitten. A very loving cat, you can do anything with her. You can pick her up, you can cuddle her, you can stroke her. She's really a beautiful cat and still is. But she just doesn't play like a kitten. However, little Chili makes up for it. Uh, again, huh? we, can, we not want the cat here, okay? Try to not, we try to find home for. Of course, get of course, of course. But now uh, Chili's here. No, I mean it's a, don't bring all the cat and things. Oh yeah, yeah, please, please, please. If you're over here, <laughs> we're not a cat home. We're not a cat rescue centre. We've ended up with the two of them by default. First lucky two years ago, moving in with the four newborn kittens and then Chili being abandoned through a car window two weeks ago into one of our flower tubs. But we love animals, we're never going to see any harm come to them and of course they're here for life. 
again we're a restaurant with kitchen with food with staff certainly in the western world it would be a huge no-no to even have them set one pour in front of the in the place slightly here different well-behaved animals do wander about people customers bring dogs and cats in occasionally dogs more than cats as so long as they don't go in the kitchen they don't go to the uh, anywhere near the food processing area Lucky's never begged for a chip Lucky's very fussy Lucky will only eat what, what we give Lucky and you can give him some best give her sorry some best chicken nah if it's not Lucky's food cat food you can chew it up your ass so Lucky's great they, they've uh, Everyone's loved Lucky. <coughs> she she lies about the restaurant under tables or in the front of a fan or somewhere in a bit of shaded cool. All the customers and the children stroke her and love her and play with her. She never interferes with the food or the tables. Uh, little um, chili bugger. He's doing pretty good. I think whether he follows uh, instinct, I don't know. But we're allowing to wander around here a little bit. He's obviously a huge hit with people. Who, who couldn't fall in love with a little kitten like that so playful so children absolutely adore him he plays he bites a little bit scratches but it's 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 playing it's not serious so we like him to be down here a few hours but basically he's too young to stay down here at night lucky's got a place around the back lucky's a bit of a free a bit of a lone wolf so she's happy to stay i think you do She's happy to stay uh, here overnight and live around the back. They've both got the litter trays. They don't make any mess other than in the litter trays. Very Cap, good morning. And when Chili's older, we do take him home at the moment at night. And he plays for a couple of hours like a lunatic and then he, boom, he sleeps and well, he's no problem, no trouble. If I get up in the night for a wee, guess what? Chili comes out and goes and hops in his train as a wee as well. He's no problem. Anyway, you know, with me coffee. I was going to go out for a walk this morning and talk. But I think I've done most of it here. Um, and then on with me most latest news. And I'll tell you that in a second. Jenny Jin's having her daily drink. She has this as part of her medication because she was ill seriously last year. Is that alloy, mate? Hello, Mai? My hello. My hello. She says it's absolutely no, disgusting, but good for you. Go on, finish it. One, one, drink, 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 drink. <laughs> on the subject of ice, two sorts of ice, two grades. We have small ice. I won't pick one up, but it's tubular. Small, round, and it's tubular. That graded ice is to go in your cocktails and your gins and tonics. And the other grade of ice, which I'll whiz into the kitchen and show you what Yao does uh, with the ice. The offerings are just going out. These offerings go out every morning, one in the restaurant, one outside in the entrance. And it's a good wish every morning for the Buddhas free food and drink for the gods to give us a good day it's a big buddies thing anyway back to the ice and back to Yao Yao and Mali in the prep dishing, washing, getting ready for a busy day what are you making? pancake pancake? yeah you make pancakes? Yeah. oh my god <laughs> very good pancakes Hello, Mama. Hello, Mama. Mama. so Yao's making pancakes so the other ice that comes in here goes in these huge containers bags of ice and they are purely for keeping sealed food cold so all your fish meats anything that doesn't go in a refrigerator because uh, a lot of it's big and bulk goes in these uh, ice boxes with this other grade ice now I'm not saying <coughs> 
There's a whole lot of difference in it, but this is how they sell it. Consumable ice grade and food refrigeration grade ice. Uh, which is good for the uh, health and safety and the uh, food hygiene so we're very strict so if you come over here to Thailand and you have a drink and there's like crushed ice in your drink I suspect that's uh, food grade it's not going to kill you nine times out of ten it's not going to make you ill but if you have drinks in Thailand your cocktails and your gin and tonics you want to be looking for the tubular, long tubular ice. Some of it's bigger, but there's a hole in it. But it's always tubular. That's your drink grade. Prices, as Nui's just said, you can buy ice from thousands of places locally, sacks of ice. These guys deliver every morning, seven days a week. I think we have low season, three, four sacks, three sacks, I think, this morning of ice, and it was 90 baht. So again, um, around two quid for three sacks of ice which is uh, pretty damn good which is delivered there's Mr. Samai going out our friend Mr. Samai he's going out on a taxi job he's the guy that uh, you see take us to the airport when we go to the airport we haven't been for a while but hey that brings me on to my next subject And speak of the devil, here come the water boys. We've had the ice, the Nam Keng boys. Nam Keng is Thai for ice. We have the Nam Pao boys, the water. They're getting the, what was it, 12 barts out of each bottle, look. Tip the money out, get your 12 bart. Take the empties away, load them all up. Empties on the bottom or wherever. Busy collecting the 12 barts. It's an easy way of paying, very trustworthy, nobody nobody steals it. It saves them coming in to collect and they drop the uh, the full ones off there and uh, some of us will nip over there, not me, and collect them in a minute. Okay, so moving on, um, yeah. My next bit of news, which I touched on, I think in the last video. I'm sorry I've been idle this morning. I haven't even bought me uh, selfie stick, so you've got me a little bit close, but hey. I'm leaving Thailand. I spoke about that little road trip on my last uh, movie. And it's a bit more than a road trip. Noisy lorry. It's a it's a little road trip and a big air trip. I'm leaving Thailand and I'm coming back to the UK. First time in two and a half years. Uh, we were both coming. Knew he was ipping and oaring for weeks or months. She wants to come. Of course, my family wanted to come. We're in low season. She should be able to come. The staff should be able to take care. But like I said, it's a busy low season. And she decided a couple of three weeks ago that. She wasn't going to come on this trip, she's going to stay and she doesn't want to let go of the helm. I can fully understand and appreciate and respect the decision. So I'm leaving Thailand and I leave Thailand on Thursday, it's now Monday. Thursday afternoon I shall head to the airport, to Phuket, international departures. I shall fly um, Thursday evening uh, to Dubai, spend a couple of hours connection in Dubai then fly on from Dubai and to arrive in Manchester Airport early Friday morning. I've got so much to do, I haven't packed anything, I've got a list of stuff from messages from people that want medication and all sorts of stuff bringing over. So I've really got to get my arse in gear and get shopping and get all that sorted. Basically all I've done is book my flight ticket. and. Uh, my accommodation my daughters, Katie, thank you very much. We're looking forward to seeing friends, family, catch up with all the people. Uh, I've uh, arranged Mr. Carl to collect me from Manchester early Friday morning. Thank you, Carl, I know you do watch, you're a star. Many of you remember Carl from early this year, February, where we spent a few days mooching around the Pattaya and some of the films we made up there. So 
be good to see Carl early doors Friday morning. Not sure I'm looking forward to the weather. They've had some nice summer weather, but I'm not sure they've thrown more than four days together. I'm led to believe now it's wet again, cold rain, hailstorms in July and around 15, 16 degrees. I'm not sure how I'm going to be affected by that. For the last two and a half years, <coughs> I think the coldest temperature I've been subjected to here in Thailand, even in the middle of the night, in the coldest spell, <coughs> maybe dip down to 26, 27 degrees. So anything in the mid low teens is really going to uh, feel cold. But hey, looking forward to it. I need to crack on, get stuff sorted. Time will fly. I hope to speak to you before I leave, but I'll see how we go. It might even be in the taxi to the airport. So that's the news, I am leaving Thailand. I'm not there for long, I think I'm there for 17 nights. Hopefully I'll catch up with as many people as I can while I'm there, but I know that time is going to be going so quick, so fast. I've got uh, certain things to do, people to see, some English beer to drink. I'm going to leave... Noisy bus. I'm going to leave that one here. Thank you for watching, see you on the next one, it was only a little update, I was going to go out and about, but enough to talk about here. Thanks for watching, thank you for subscribing, if you've not already subscribed, you know what to do now. Thumbs up or down, please subscribe, tell your friends, share, like, do all those magnificent things for me. And I shall be making films um, about my trip, so hopefully that will be different. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks again, take care, bye for now.